Yeah, the tower, this is uh, Meatball 66 uh, requesting immediate takeoff. Ah, uh, Meatball uh, 866, you are clear for takeoff. Uh, have fun, Miller. Clear for takeoff. Thank you, Tower. Have a excellent day. See you later. Hello, everyone, and welcome back from that awesome introduction. Just kidding, that was kind of cringeworthy. Um, welcome to the first of many wonderful videos here we're doing on Payware Jets. So these are downloadable uh, content that you can get for X-Plane, Flight Sim, things like that. Today we're doing X-Plane 11, and if you haven't already been able to tell, we are doing the wonderful Challenger 300. So made by Bombardier, so Canadian manufacturer, and it is a beautiful jet, and it's been beautifully done. Like, look at this. And of course, the graphics aren't all the uh, best graphics, but fully detailed. Everything else is very well done. Very, very, very nice details here. And let's let's go over this and let's see if it's worth you getting this. So this is the store page. Boop, right here. So. X amount of price. I got this on sale at around twenty dollars uh, US. But yeah, let's let's take a look at the, some of the cool features that this jet has, and we'll we'll go over them one by one here. So first off, is uh, this jet comes with plugins. That if we look on our left side here, we have a tab, and we have a few awesome little things here. So fast start. So from cool to getting well started. Next on the list is that we have kind of like our little exterior. Uh, pre-flight checks so we can go uh, pretty much go on the full walk around here which is really nicely done you know so they can look at all your pedo tubes your statics um, look at all your wonderful engines with their wonderful details um, and yeah when you're done just go back to the cockpit the next one is really nice as well you don't need the little uh, thing here but we have little animations so you can click them using your mouse or you can just go down here so inside we have our little lights can give ourselves a little bit of a rave. Um, we also have both doors, everything else animated. We can close them if you want. Go to the washroom, that's yeah. nice. Play around with the blinds, the tray tables. Everything's all 3D and ah, it's so cool. Uh, and of course, you got some exterior stuff, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, and the nice other thing here is that it kind of harks back to uh, X Plane how there are some neat little features in regards to, um, let's bring it up here, instruments, all right? So we have uh, our little instrument buttons up here. So ICAST, checklist, and MFDCTL, so like your little control here. So here's a little uh, checklist, we don't need that. Little checklist here, don't need that. So the cool thing about this guy is that you can just, if you have two screens, you can just put it up here or you can just leave it off to the side. But of course, this controls our screens. So we can choose our control left, control right. Um, so yeah, so you can say you want your checklist up. Uh, you can have your um, uh, tower, weather, traffic, um, electrical system. Your pretty much all, everything's simulated here and it's very well done full hydraulic system, anti-icing system, everything else is simulated and it's really nice, right? So you can play around, set your screens if you want, you can have your electrical system or your fuel system up. Um, so yeah, so of course you have your stock systems up as well. Let's give this guy a wonderful little flight and just show him how that handles and uh, explain the loving. And we are away, let's give it a go. So as you can see, the panels are coming to life here. We got our airspeed. Everything else is nicely animated. Let's see if we can go external view for a second. Lovely, very well done. November zero two X-ray pop up runway three three left. November zero two X-ray pop up runway three three left. Clear to land. Look at that. Runway three three left. To Look at that. November. Let's get some flaps Zero up again. Papa. And there you go. It's just, just like a an F-18, right? Like, look at that power in this aircraft. I mean, it's really fun to fly, too. Let's go external view for a second. Watch your ears. Nice reflections. Everything else, all the textures are added. 
And of course, just like many other planes that should be, the engines are indeed animated. So we do have movement in there. Yeah, look at that. Pilots, you got everything else. Just look at that. Got a little airplane landing in the background. Look at that. I mean, like it's, we're, we're already at pretty much 6,000 feet and it hasn't even been like a few minutes yet. Um, but yeah, like overall the flight model is very well done. Um, I, I honestly can't complain. Like obviously I don't fly Challenger jets in real life, so I can't really uh, say how realistic it is in regards to that. But as a little pilot just derping around, and of course you got like your full everything else that you can play around with. I feel like LOL. <sighs> Okay, here we are, 33 right, 10 nautical miles from Pearson. Uh, I turned the comm off so we don't have to hear anyone. Who needs communication while flying, right? Um, so yeah, so let's uh, give in some uh, flap right now. And it's nice that uh, they programmed in, of course, you see that little red bar on our uh, flight speed indicator. So it's nice that they did program in all the speeds for the different flap configurations everything else um and yeah like i know that some instruments are stock so like you have your uh gps everything else but yeah it is it is nice to have that so yeah let's listen to those engines purr throttle down a bit let's get a get a, a bit of a glide slope going here so yeah and again since it is kind of one of those newer generation aircrafts it's 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 pretty easy to fly Especially in the sim, but you know what? Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Still pretty fun. Still pretty fun. It's gonna go away. Boop. So yeah. Let's get this gear down. See that animation going? Fully, Landing everything gear. fully animated here. Landing it's nice. Gear. Very nice. Got your full sounds. Got everything else. like the real deal, you know, just, it's like the real deal. Getting into some slow flight there too. So it's just like many other uh, modern aircraft, the Challenger 300 does have the uh, spoiler arm button. So as soon as you touch down there, you get your uh, wonderful landing gear down. We're going to see the extension of our spoilers to keep, keep us down. And of course, we'll retract our flaps, everything else. So then once we uh, touch down now, Ah, it's a beautiful day to land up Pearson here, as you can see in the uh, ghost town, new uh, aircraft. I might uh, download one of those uh, traffic patches as well, so like the, uh, yep, 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 thank you. Yep, 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 I'm, uh, I'm aware that I need caffeine right now. Minimums, minimums. Um, so as you can see, we are on final approach. We're going to go for a little bit high, so then we can get off the runway rate, a little sink bit rate, further down. Sink rate, sink rate, just because sink rate, um, sink that, that's, sink rate, that's a great way sink to cover rate, me sink being rate, high. Sink rate, sink um, rate, sink 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 rate, sink
And before you leave, yes, it does come with other skins. This is just like the Canadian skin with this Charlie Golf registration. If you're going to flight, it does have a lot of different registrations from just being white to like different, like if you want to be an American aircraft to, like I said before, Canadian aircraft, British, everything else. So yeah, they do have other aircraft in here. All right, thanks again for watching, everyone. Please enjoy your champagne after you get off the Challenger 300. Beautiful aircraft, highly recommend. And as always, everyone, fly safe.